no scratches, and that's the field for the second heat is in town. The camp entry is favored at 3 to 10 this trip, just a little more prominently than before. It's still 5 to 1 against William T. Mayberry's Gallifone. There's Scott Frost taking his final score. And the starting gate moves forward. Scott Frost, Leopold Hanover, and way ahead in the center of the track, coming down together. And Leopold Hanover is the first horse to break out of the gate. And Scott Frost is along the rail. Childs Hanover and way ahead is moving up on the outside. It's Leopold Hanover on that lead. Way ahead, second on the outside. Scott Frost, third on the rail. Childs Hanover is nailed fourth. Galifone between horses is fifth. Home free is sixth. Flemington off stride is seventh. As they come over to the turn now, it's Leopold Hanover on the lead. Way ahead is second. Scott Frost is third on the rail. Childs Hanover is fourth. Home free is fifth on the rail. Galifone is sixth on the outside. And Butch Hanover is seventh. As they swing around the turn into the quarter mark. On the lead, it's Leopold Hanover. Way ahead is second. Back there, fifth. Home free is off stride. As they wheel around the turn and go to the back stretch. 29 and a fifth at quarter time. It's way ahead in Leopold Hanover. And Childs Hanover, third horse on the outside, is ranging up for that lead. Childs Hanover, way ahead. And Leopold Hanover, three horses across the track. Childs Hanover has the lead now. Way ahead, dropping back between horses. Leopold Hanover is second on the rail. Scott Frost is nailed fourth. Galifone is nailed fifth. As they hit the halfway mark on that lead now, it's Childs Hanover by a length. Leopold Hanover is second. Around the turn, Scott Frost is caught between horses, and Colby Might is moving up fast. Nail six, nail fifth. Colby Might is still moving up on the outside. They've got Scott Frost between horses. The half was in a minute and one fifth. Around the turn, it's Childs Hanover on the lead. Colby Might is still moving. Scott Frost trying to come between horses, and Galifone comes with him. It's Colby Might ranging up on the outside now, way ahead, dropping back. But Scott Frost finds a hole, and he breaks through, and Galifone goes with him. Colby Might seems to be tiring. It's Scott Frost on that lead. Childs head over to second. Colby Might third, but Galifone is eating up ground fast. Galifone is now third, now second. It's Scott Frost on the lead. Galifone is second. Childs Hanover is third now. The three quarters in one thirty-one and a fifth. Leopold Hanover is fourth. As they come around the turn, Butch Hanover is nailed fifth. Leopold Hanover moving on the outside, trying to get up for third. But it's Scott Frost and Galifold, two of the greatest three-year-olds of all time. They're coming into the top of the lane. And watch the drivers. Watch the horses. One of the greatest finishes of any Hamiltonian. Scott Frost and Galifone are giving it all they've got. Head and head, neck and neck. Scott Frost and Galifone as they come for that wire. Scott Frost in the closest pit of his career. And so Scott Frost takes it in the tightest fit of his young career. Ahead over gallant Galifone. Man, what a finish that was. The time is sizzling two minutes and three fifths. Only Hootman, sire of Scott Frost, ever trotted faster in the Hamiltonian. His two minute effort in 1947 standing up as the stake record. In the winner's circle, caretaker Don Beal walks his horse and awaits the arrival of the guests of honor. Here's driver O'Brien wiping away a little lipstick as his wife Betty congratulates caretaker B. O'Brien, a Canadian by birth, is one of the nation's finest trainers and drivers. He's been working for Mr. Camp for four years now, and they've had some great chances. There's Mr. Camp. That's his daughter-in-law with him, and with the O'Brien is Mrs. Camp. Scott Frost, first two-year-old ever to try to race in two minutes, has now won five straight this year and 11 straight heats. And today he's taking his place alongside the all-time harness racing great.